insomnia or and and poor sleep in general seems to be related uh, to a number of consequences um, which are still being worked on and defined both in old, older and younger individuals from a neurocognitive standpoint we know that poor sleep is related to memory decline uh, especially working memory uh, and uh, and episodic memory and memory about one one's own recent life uh, older individuals as you know are, are afflicted by memory problems and poor sleep seems to augment uh, that memory decrement. Uh, secondly, uh, motor abnormalities, so falls. Interestingly, many studies have shown that in older individuals, one of the strongest predictors of falls, which we worry about a great deal, uh, is poor sleep and short sleep time, independently of hypnotic medications or sleep medications. So um, the, the, the impairment in motor behavior in older people could be related to the way they've slept the night before. Uh, in the context of the hospital setting, poor sleep is also associated with the risk of um, with the risk of delirium. And some studies have shown that by treating poor sleep after admission to a hospital, we can actually diminish the risk of delirium after admission to a hospital. From a from a from a from a uh, systemic standpoint, we know that individuals who sleep more poorly over the course of time have a higher likelihood of developing hypertension and metabolic abnormalities or glucose intolerance, uh, which is very interesting and that really suggests that insomnia has significant, may have significant systemic uh, effects as well as neurocognitive effects. From going back to the cognitive aspects for a moment, the, the consequence of, of cognitive, cognitive uh, decrements in insomniacs may be along the lines of uh, motor vehicle accidents, which seem to be higher in rates with older individuals, as I mentioned before, falls as well. Uh, insomnia seems to contribute to mood decline. Over the course of many years, insomniacs have a higher risk of developing major depression. Uh, and interestingly, people who have had treatment of depression, successful treatment after achieving remission, have a higher rate of having another depressive episode uh, if insomnia persists.